Hello everyone. My name is Sandra Kulhanto and I've been invited by Jaya to contribute in this amazing initiative for running the Gratitude Challenge for 100 days. So today is day 52 and congratulations Jaya and Yoshita for completing 52 wonderful days in enabling us and reminding us on how, gra how gratitude is extremely important in our lives. And the prompt that I was invited to talk about is very personal um, because it's it's been quite challenging for me uh, in the last six months and I was given a prompt to talk about that. So it took me some days to absorb this prompt to be as honest, honest and authentic as possible on this video for all of you. And the prompt is to be grateful for health even in sickness. In the last six months, I have gone through a lot of pain. Uh, in fact, I was counting the other day about 160 days of pain uh, uh, in my back nonstop and I met a couple of doctors and none of them were able to diagnose. And I recently came to India and did an MRI and finally found out what the issue was. Um, it's an autoimmune disease called ankylosing spondylitis, which is inflammatory information of the spine and uh, large joints and it's a lifelong disease there is no cure to it you just need to manage it so it doesn't worsen and so the few days when I heard about it, it uh, I was I was extremely low because this suddenly hit me all this time I was thinking it's temporary but now I realize it's permanent and uh, it's difficult to absorb something that is permanent and uh, I got this prompt to talk about health and I said you know it can't be coincidence to talk about it when I'm actually going through this entire process. And it made me think about pausing first, pausing the sense of being a victim, the sense of why am I going through this all over again because I went through another autoimmune 10 years ago that I'm continuing and now I've got another another one. And I said, hang on, let's, let's look at what this is giving me. Uh, and I realized that I'm still able to do things I love to do. I'm still able to train, I'm still able to facilitate, to coach, to be with my girls, be with my loved ones, to move around, uh, to see, to be mobile, even though there could be some bit of pain in the morning, but I'm able to do other stuff. And, and I don't know if everyone's able to say that. And it's also brought me to appreciate my body more, which I had taken for granted the first few decades of my life. And now I know how important that is as a tool, as a machinery to help me do what I want to do. So I'm truly grateful for what I have in my health and my sickness, because the sickness has taught me to appreciate what I didn't have. And if I didn't have this, I would have taken it for granted or maybe abused it in, by neglecting it. And I'm truly grateful for what I have. I honestly am. And I'm going to invite all of you to take a moment to think about what about, what about your body you're grateful for, what the body is able to do for you, your health, not just the body, but mindset. Just taking a moment to just give gratitude to your whole being, your mind, your body, your soul, and see what it's giving you, giving you the opportunity to do whatever you want to if you choose to do so. So I wish for all of you to take that moment, be grateful for what you have, and I wish for you complete health and happiness always. Have a great day.